The NFL, they are too. But that doesn't mean it's devoid of stupidity. And when you think about Jerry Judy, that wide receiver for the Denver Broncos, I understand and I'm all for dancing. I'm all for dancing, all right? We should all dance from time to time. Elevate that level of joy in our lives and in our soul and unleash it and release it. We should do that. But not this. Not this. You also know uh, he's not also as decisive as he needs to be. He needs to go ahead and make the right decisions all the time. And so by I got some tape to really show you. Now you see Steve Smith from the NFL Network clapped back at him. And when he clapped back at him and basically regurgitated and repeated what he had to say about Jerry Judy, because Jerry Judy was questionable in terms of um, doing his job. And, you know, Steve Smith, one of the all worldwide receivers, as far as I'm concerned, in NFL history, felt the need to call him out about that. Jerry Judy obviously had a problem with it. And if you don't believe what I had to say, check out what Steve Smith had to say about it. Broncos wide receiver Jerry Judy was walking by and Steve called out to him. And he got a different reaction. I called out to him because I, on my podcast, Cut To It, I just talked about guys that maybe have not um, showed up in a way or in a manner. And so the word that I've used uh, to describe him in the past was a jag, just a guy. Just a guy. When I saw him, He's playing well. I wanted to say to him face-to-face, -face, like, hey, I know I said some things in the past I probably shouldn't have, and I'm sorry. That's what I wanted to say to him. His response, Mike Rob, was ninja. Ninja? Yes, I'm using the word ninja. That's, I'm just using the word ninja. I don't mess with you. And it was, a, it was a curse word. And so I was like, all right, and then he repeated it. So I'll say it again. I'm sorry that I said you were a jag, just a guy who's an average wide receiver that you use a first-round pick on that isn't doing anything. I hope today that you actually show up in a way that you haven't showed up in the last couple of years since they drafted you. So if you ever got a problem with Agent 89, I'm sorry for saying that you're an average wide receiver that they eventually will move on. And when teams call me and asking, should they trade for you, I will say no, don't trade for Jerry Judy because he's mentally unable to handle constructive criticism from, from people who watch specifically can he be a wide receiver he could be a wide receiver he's a tier three go back into the studio i'm done now thank you now for those of you who may have a question mark here's what i want you to know if you're jerry judy you start at alabama you were drafted 15th overall in the 2020 nfl draft there have been a lot of great expectations for jerry judy because we all know he could ball in his three years, he missed five games in 2021, six games actually in 2021, played all 16 games, started 14 his rookie year 2020, played 14 out of 15 games, started 14 out of 15 games in 2022. And this year, he started in four games. He's played in five games. He has yet to have had a thousand yard season. And Steve Smith basically was like, yo, you got to stop being soft. You got to go after it. And Jerry Judy had a problem with it and didn't handle it correctly. When Steve Smith went over to speak to him, he said he ain't messing with him. Jerry Judy tried to sit up there and say, if he had come to apologize, that would have been different. Well, why does he owe you an apology? Did he say something false? See, at some point in time, we got to be men, ladies and gentlemen. It can't be about, oh, you know, I don't like what the person said. Is it true? I might not like what somebody says about me, but if it's true, it's true. OK, if you lying, that's a different matter. If you're false and erroneous, that's a different matter. Steve Smith, for those of you who don't know, built like a chisel brick house. He's a man amongst boys. He is not somebody to be played with. Five, nine stocky. Well, I've seen him body slam opponents, as have y'all. Anybody that knows the NFL. 14,731 career receiving yards. OK, and there were times when he was considered an elite receiver in the National Football League. There are a few thousand yard receiving seasons on his resume. I think he warrants consideration for the Hall of Fame. He may not get there, but he warrants consideration. His brother could play. He was no scrub. And he don't mess around. And so 
He turned around on national television and repeated what he said about Jerry Judy respectfully and dared them to do something about it. In his own way, of course. And I got to admit to you, I don't have a problem with it. And I don't have a problem with it because he approached Jerry Judy and tried to speak to him like a man and Jerry Judy didn't handle it correctly. If you Jerry Judy, you know what you say? Yo, man, what can I do to get better? Or say to him, you know, could you do me a favor, man? Rather than just criticizing me, you got access to me. Could you come to me and tell me how to get better? Can I work out with you so you can show me how to get better? Steve Smith was no scrub. He wasn't no Stephen A. Smith. He was Steve Smith. See, I talk and I write and I report and I, I'm an author and all of that. That's what I do for a living. That brother was an elite football player. How about learning from him, Jerry Judy? Instead of getting all caught up in our feelings. Because the fact of the matter is, you're better than your numbers have shown and your level of production has shown in Denver. Now, I understand there's a lot of reasons to go into it. It ain't your fault that Nathaniel Hackett was the coach last year. It ain't your fault that Russell Wilson showed up and he, ain't, he hasn't been able to produce to the degree that you would like. It ain't your fault that other quarterbacks preceded you that wasn't up to snuff even according to Russell, uh, even to Russell Wilson's standards. But somehow, somewhere, you got to produce more and you didn't. So that's all I got to say about that. 